While Queen Elizabeth II was a dominant figure among European monarchs during her lengthy reign, she was not the only woman to hold the crown in recent times. Margaret I. I. of Denmark and Beatrice of Holland also held the title, with Beatrice and her Danish counterpart both abdicating early and passing the throne to their sons, including Willem Alexander. From her controversial love story with Klaus von Amsberg to the great revolutions that took place at home, the reign of the former Queen of the Netherlands was one of the most unforgettable in the history of Europe. Let's trace it step by step starting in 1938 with Beatrice of the Netherlands' childhood. The news of her imminent birth was announced in a short radio speech from Soestich Palace in Barn in mid-June 1937. On January 31, 1938, Princess Juliana, who was three months pregnant, gave birth to a baby girl, thus continuing the long tradition of female succession to the throne of the Netherlands. The last male ruler was William III, who reigned from 1849 to 1890. The pregnancy was complicated by an accident in November, in which the father-to-be, Prince Bernard, suffered a severe concussion and a skull base fracture. Despite this, the birth occurred without complications at 9.47 a.m., and the baby was named Beatrice, which means she who brings happiness. Additionally, the names Guglielmina and Armgard were chosen as a tribute to the baby's grandmothers. The baptism was held on May 12, 1938, at the Great Church in the Hague. Unfortunately, the baby was neglected for two years before the Netherlands entered World War II due to the German invasion. Members of the royal family were forced to flee to Britain and then to Canada. They were only able to return home on August 2, 1945. The love story of Queen Beatrix and Klaus von Amsberg is also noteworthy. After completing a long course of study and attending the first official engagements of the royal family, Beatrix of Holland surprised her people in the mid-1960s with news of a possible engagement. On May 1, 1965, a photograph was taken of her holding hands with an unknown man who was later identified as Klaus von Amsberg, a German diplomat. However, this news was not well received by her relatives or the public. Further research revealed that the man had been a member of the Hitler Youth and the Wehrmacht and had strong ties to German Nazism. Parliament established a special committee to evaluate the boy's background when asked to approve the union. Under the influence of the princess's threat to abdicate, Parliament supported the marriage. Despite the few years that passed since the war, society continued to oppose the wedding, which took place in Amsterdam on 10 March 1966. Protests even occurred during the ceremony. However, Klaus eventually became one of the most respected members of the family. His death in 2002 was met with great sadness. Beatrice of Holland ascended to the throne. As the direct heiress from the 1970s onwards, Beatrice of Holland underwent rigorous training to prepare for her future position as queen. Her transition officially began on 31 January 1980 when her mother, Juliana, announced her wish to abdicate in favor of her daughter. However, Beatrice's accession to the throne was not always guaranteed. In 1983, a constitutional amendment was passed establishing the right of succession to the eldest child regardless of gender. However, the previous monarch had only daughters, and Beatrice could be assured of a coronation after her mother was no longer able to give birth. The proclamation occurred on 30th April 1980 at the Royal Palace in Amsterdam. However, it was disrupted by a group of squatters who chose the day of the change of throne to express their opposition. Queen Beatrice of Holland's first commitment was to visit members of the public order police who were injured in clashes the following day. Despite initial difficulties, her long reign before abdication was highly respected among the people. Her first intervention as queen was the complete reorganization of the Dutch court, including the move to Nordinda Palace in the Hague. This was followed by visits to Europe, the USA, Oman, and Singapore. The sovereign's reputation grew through numerous interviews, economic support for local artists, and efforts to save the life of Amina Lawal, 
a Nigerian woman sentenced to death for becoming pregnant before marriage. After nearly 33 years of rule, Beatrice of Holland decided to follow in her mother's footsteps by announcing her decision to abdicate prematurely. The speech was broadcast on 28 January 2013, and the succession date was set for 30 April. After the coronation was formalized, his son Willem Alexander became the first male sovereign since 1890. However, after him, the Kingdom of the Netherlands was again ruled by a woman, thanks to Catherine Amalia, the first of three daughters, king and wife of Maxime Sorigueira Sorigueira.